All right, guys. So um, here we have another uh, lecture. Um, we are going over the explorers of the age of discovery. Uh, so there's going to be some repeats from the last lecture, but I figure, you know, um, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of review, but we definitely will have uh, some new contenders as well. So let's get to it. All right, so Xing He was a Chinese explorer and commander of huge treasure ships, uh, led voyages to Southeast Asia, South Asia, and East Africa from 1405 to 1433, uh, demonstrated the power and wealth of the Ming Dynasty. So again, he was a Chinese mariner, uh, explorer, diplomat, fleet admiral, and court eunuch uh, during China's uh, early Ming Dynasty. And uh, a eunuch is uh, somebody who basically doesn't have his private bits. Um, he was originally born as Ma He in a Muslim family and later adopted the surname Zing conferred by Emperor uh, Yongle. Zing uh, commanded ex expeditionary treasure voyages to Southeast Asia, South Asia, Western Asia, and East Africa from 1405. Uh, to 1433. According to legend, uh, his larger ships carried hundreds of sailors on four decks and were almost twice as long as any wooden ship ever recorded. As a favorite of the Yongle Emperor, who Zing assisted in the overthrow of the Jianwen Emperor, he rose to the top of the imperial uh, hierarchy and served as commander of the southern capital, uh, Nanjing. All right, so just a little bit of review of Christopher Columbus again. Um, Italian explorer who sailed for Spain, uh, intended to reach India and established an, established a new trade route, uh, landed on San Salvador in the New World, completed four voyages across the Atlantic Ocean between 1492 and 1503. So again, uh, Christopher Columbus, uh, born on the 31st of October, 1451, and died on the 20th of May, 1506. Let me just double check here. Uh, right, so Zing He um, was born um, in 1371 and then died either in 1433 or 1435. We don't know for sure. Um, again, so Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer and colonizer who completed four voyages across the Atlantic Ocean that opened the new world for conquest and permanent colonization of the Americas. Um, his expeditions sponsored by the Catholic monarchs of Spain, were the first uh, European contact with the Caribbean, Central America, and South America. Um, Columbus's early life, again, is somewhat obscure, but scholars generally agree that he was born in the Republic of Genoa and spoke a dialect of Ligurian as his first language. He went to sea at a young age and traveled widely, as far no north as the British Isles and possibly Iceland, and as far south and as what is now Ghana. He married Portuguese noblewoman Felipa uh, Moniz Parastrello and was based in Lisbon for several years, uh, but later took a Castilian mistress. Uh, he had one son with each woman. Um, though largely self-educated, Columbus was uh, widely read in geography, astronomy, and history. He formulated a plan to seek a western sea passage to the East Indies, hoping to profit from the lucrative spice trade uh, following persistent lobbying, uh, Queen the I and King Ferdinand II agreed to sponsor a journey west in the name of the Crown of Castile. Columbus left Castile in August 1492 with three ships. And after a stopover in the Canary Islands, Canary Islands, sorry, a uh, main landfall in the Americas on the 12th of October, uh, later celebrated as Columbus Day. Um, his landed landing place was an island in the Bahamas known by its native inhabitants as Guanahani. Um, and its exact location um, is uncertain. Columbus subsequently visited the islands now known as Cuba and Hispaniola, establishing a colony in what is now Haiti, the first European settlement in the Americas since the North Colonies nearly 500 years earlier. He arrived back in Castile in early 1493, 
uh, bringing a number of captive uh, natives with him. Word of his voyage is soon spread throughout Europe. Uh, Columbus made three uh, further voyages to the New World, exploring the Lesser Antilles in 1493, uh, Trinidad and the northern coast of South America in 1498, and the eastern coast of Central America in 1502. Many of the names uh, he gave to geographical features, particularly islands, are still in use. He continued to seek a passage to the East Indies, and the extent to which he was aware that the Americas were a wholly separate landmass is uncertain. He never uh, clearly renounced his belief that he had reached the Far East and gave the name Indios or Indians to the indigenous peop uh, peoples he encountered. Columbus's strained relationship with the Spanish crown and its appointed colonial administrators in America led to his arrest and removal from Hispaniola in 1500 and later to protracted litigation over the benefits that he and his heirs claimed were owed to them by the crown. Columbus's expeditions inaugurated a period of exploration, conquest, and colonization that lasted for centuries, helping uh, create the modern Western world. The transfers between the Old World and New World that followed his first voyage are now known as the Columbian Exchange, and the period of human habitation in the Americas prior to his arrival is referred to as the Pre-Columbian Era. Columbus, sorry, Columbus's legacy continues to be debated. Uh, he was widely venerated in the centuries after his death, but public perception, perceptions have changed as recent scholars have given greater attention to negative aspects of his life, such as in his enslavement of the indigenous population uh, and his quest for gold and his brutal subjugation of the um, Taino people, uh, leading to their near extinction, as well as allegations of tyranny uh, towards Spanish colonists. Uh, many landmarks and institutions in the Western Hemisphere bear his name, including the country of Colombia and the name Colombia, which is used as a personification of the, for the United States and appears in many uh, place names there. All right, Vasco da Gama. So was an early Portuguese explorer. I uh, commanded first European ship to sail directly from Europe to India in 1498, sailed around the southern tip of Africa, and helped establish lucrative trade routes between India and Europe. Um, so again, Vasco, Vasco da Gama, the first count of Vedagraria, um, was born around the 1460s and died uh, on the 24th of December, 1524. Um, was a Portuguese explorer and the first uh, European to reach India by sea. Um, his initial voyage to India between the years of 1497 to 1499 was the first to link Europe and Asia by an ocean route connecting the Atlantic Ocean, sorry, the Atlantic and the Indian Oceans and therefore the West and the Orient. Um, Da Gama's discovery of the sea route to India was significant and opened the way for an age of global imperialism and for the Portuguese to establish a long-lasting colonial empire in Asia. Uh, traveling uh, the ocean uh, route allowed the Portuguese to avoid sailing across the highly disputed Mediterranean and traversing the dangerous Arabian Peninsula. The sum of the distances covered in the outward and return voyages made this the longest expedition Sorry, this expedition, the longest ocean voyage ever made until then, uh, far longer than a full voyage around the world by way of the equator. Um, after decades of sailors trying to reach the Indies with thousands of lives and dozens of vessels lost in shipwrecks and attacks, Da Gama landed in, in Calicut on the 20th of May, 1498. Unopposed access to the Indian uh, spice routes boosted the economy of the Portuguese Empire which was previously based along northern and coastal West Africa. Uh, the main spices at first obtained from the Southeast Asia were pepper and cinnamon, uh, but soon included other products, all new to Europe. Portugal uh, maintained a commercial monopoly of these commodities for several decades. Um, it was not until a century later that the other European powers, namely the Dutch Republic and England, followed by France and Denmark, were able to challenge uh, Portugal's monopoly and naval supremacy in the Cape uh, route or route. Uh, da Gama 
uh, led two of the Portuguese India Armadas, the first and the fourth. The latter was the largest and departed for India four years after his return from the first one. Uh, for his contributions in 1524, Da Gama was appointed governor of India with the title of Viceroy and was ennobled as Count of Vidigawira in 1519. Vasco da Gama uh, remains a leading figure in the history of exploration. Numerous homages have been made worldwide to celebrate his explorations and accomplishments. The Portuguese national epic poem, Os Luciadas, uh, was written in his honor by uh, Camões. Um, his first trip to India is widely considered a milestone in world history as it marked the beginning of a sea-based uh, phase of global multi multiculturalism. In March 2016, thousands of artifacts and nautical remains were recovered from the shipwreck of the ship Right, sorry, from the wreck of the ship Esmeralda, one of Da Gama's armada found off the coast of Oman. Ferdinand Magellan. All right, so Portuguese explorer as well. Uh, his crew led the first circumnavigation of the world between the years of 1519 and 1522. Uh, would end up dying in the Philippines and never made it all the way around the world. So again, Ferdinand Magellan was born in the year 1480 and died on the 27th, 27th of April, 1521. Was a Portuguese explorer who organized the Spanish expedition to the East Indies from 1519 to 1522, resulting in the first circumnavigation of the Earth, which was completed uh, by Juan Sebastian El Sanco. Uh, born around 1480 into a, a family of minor Portuguese nobility, uh, Magellan became a skilled sailor and naval officer and was in service of the Portuguese crown in Asia. After King Manuel I of Portugal refers, refused to support his plan to reach India by a new route by sailing around the southern end of the southern um, South American continent, he was eventually selected by King Charles I of Spain to search for a westward route to the Malaku Islands. Uh, commanding a fleet of five vessels, he headed south during the Atlantic Ocean to Patagonia. Despite a series of storms and mutinies, uh, they made it through the Strait of Magellan into a body of water he named the Peaceful Sea and Modern Pacific Ocean. Um, the expedition reached the Philippine Islands, uh, where Magellan was killed during the Battle of Mactan. The expedition later reached the Spice Islands in 1521, and one of the surviving ships eventually returned home via the Indian Ocean, completing the first circuit of the globe. Magellan had already uh, reached the Malay Archipelago in Southeast Asia on previous uh, voyages traveling east from 1505 to around 1511 or 1512. By visiting this area again, but now traveling west, Magellan achieved a nearly complete personal circumnavigation of the globe for the first time in history. All right, Jacques Cartier was a French explorer, uh, sought a Western passage to Asia, claimed modern-day Canada for France in 1534, and was the first European to sail and map the St. Lawrence River. So again, Jacques Cartier, born on December 31st, 1491, and died on September 1st, 1557, was a Breton explorer who claimed what is now Canada for France. Uh, Jacques Cartier was the first European to describe and map the Gulf of St. Lawrence and the shores of the St. Lawrence River, which is named, which he named the country of Canada's after the Iroquois names for the two uh, big settlements he saw at um, Stadacona, Quebec City, and at Hochelaga, Montreal Island. All right, Hernan Cortez was a Spanish conquistador, explored and conquered large parts of Mexico, uh, made alliances with indigenous groups, defeated the Aztec Empire in 1519. So Hernan Cortez de Monroy y Pizarro Altamirano, uh, first Marquis of the Valley of, o of Oaxaca, Oaxaca uh, was born in the year 1485 and died December 2nd, uh, 1547. Was a Spanish conquistador who led an expedition that caused the fall of the Aztec Empire and brought large uh, portions of what is now mainland Mexico under the rule of the King of Castile uh, in the early 16th century. Cortez was part of the generation of Spanish colonizers who began the first phase 
of the Spanish colonization of the Americas. Uh, born in Medellin, Spain, to a family of lesser nobility, Cortez chose to pursue adventure and riches in the New World. Um, he went to Hispaniola and later to Cuba, where he received an encomienda, the right to the labor of certain subjects. For a short time, he served as Alca Alcadi, or a magistrate of the second Spanish town founded on the island. Uh, in 1519, he was elected captain of the third expedition to the mainland, which he partly funded. His enmity with the governor of Cuba, Diego Lasquez de uh, Quilar, resulted in the recall of the expedition at the last moment, um, an order which Cortez ignored. Arriving on the continent, uh, Cortez executed a successful strategy of allying with some indigenous pe people against others. Uh, he also used a native woman, Adana Marina, as an interpreter. She later bore his first son. Uh, when the governor of Cuba sent emissaries to arrest Cortez, he fought them in one, using the extra troops as reinforcements. Cortez wrote letters directly to the king, asking to be acknowledged for his successes instead of being punished for mutiny. After he overthrew the Aztec Empire, Cortez was awarded the title of Marquis de Val de Oaxaca, while the more prestigious title or prestigious title of Viceroy was given to a high ranking nobleman, Antonio de Mendoza. In 1541, uh, Cortez returned to Spain, where he died six years later of natural cause, causes but embittered. Because of the controversial, controversial undertakings of Cortez and the scarcity of of reliable sources of information about him, it is difficult to describe his personality or motivations. Uh, early lionizing of the conquistadors did not encourage deep examination of Cortez. Uh, modern reconsideration has done little to enlarge um, an understanding regarding him. As a result of these historical trends, descriptions of Cortez tend to be simplistic and either damning or idolizing. All right, Francisco Pizarro, so was a Spanish conquistador, uh, conquered the Incan Empire in 1533, founded the city of Lima, Peru, and brought back immense wealth of precious metals to Spain. So um, Francisco Pizarro Gonzalez, um, born in the year, between the years 1471 to 1476, we don't know for sure, and died on the 26th of June, 1541 was a Spanish conquistador best known for his expeditions that led to the fall of the Incan Empire and the Spanish conquest of Peru. Uh, born in Trujillo, Spain, to a poor family, uh, Pizarro chose to pursue fortune and adventure in the New World. He went to the Gulf of Yoraba and accompanied uh, Vasco Nunez de Balboa in his crossing of the Isthmus of Panama, where they uh, became the first Europeans to reach the Pacific Ocean. He served as the mayor of the newly founded Panama City for a few years and undertook two failed expeditions to Peru. Uh, in 1528, Pizarro obtained permission from King Charles V and went on his third uh, expedition to Peru. When local people who lived along the coast resisted this invasion, Pizarro moved inland and founded the first uh, Spanish settlement in Peru, San Miguel de Puara. After a series of maneuvers, um, Pizarro captured the Incan Emperor Atahualpa and at the Battle of Cajamarca in no uh, November 1532. A ransom for the Emperor's release was demanded and Atahualpa filled the room with gold, but Pizarro charged him with various crimes and executed him in July 1533. The same year, Pizarro entered the Incan, Inca capital of Cusco and completed his conquest of Peru. In January 1535, uh, Pizarro founded the city of Lima a project he considered his greatest achievement. Our quarrels between Pizarro and his longtime comrade in arms, Diego Almagro, culminated in the Battle of Las Salinas, after which Almagro was executed. In June 1541, a party led by Almagro's son assassinated Pizarro in Lima. He was laid to rest in the Lima Cathedral. Francis Drake okay, was an English sea captain and privateer, uh, helped defeat the Spanish Armada, and the first English explorer to sail around the world, uh, 1577 to 1580. So Sir Francis Drake, uh, born in the year 1540 and died 28th of January 1596, was an English 
sea captain, privateer, slave trader, pirate, naval officer, and explorer of the Elizabethan era. Uh, Drake carried out the second circumnavigation of the world in a single expedition from 1577 to 1580 and was the first to complete the voyage as captain while leading the expedition through the entire circumnavigation. Uh, with his incursion into the Pacific Ocean, he claimed what is now California uh, for the English and inaugurated an era of conflict with the Spanish on the western coast of the Americas, um, an area that had previously uh, been largely unexplored by western shipping. So Elizabeth I awarded Drake a knighthood in 1581, which he received on the Golden Hind and Deptford. Um, in the same year, he was appointed mayor of Plymouth. As vice admiral, he was second in command of the English fleet in the victorious battle against the Spanish Armada in 1588. Unfortunately, he died of dysentery in January 1596 after unsuccessfully attacking San Juan, uh, Puerto Rico. Drake's exploits made him a hero to the English, but his privateering led the Spanish to brand him a pirate, uh, known to them as El uh, Drake. Um, King the Philip II allegedly offered a reward for his capture or death of 20,000 ducats, um, roughly about 6 million British pounds, which, sorry, I'm um, sorry, I, I don't think that's pounds. That's probably some other form of currency, but basically it's equivalent to 8 million U.S. dollars in modern currency. Or it might be pounds. <laughs> okay. Samuel de Champlain was a French explorer, uh, founded New Qu uh, France and Quebec, city in modern-day Canada in 1608, was the first European to explore and describe the Great Lakes. So Samuel de Champlain was born on August 13, 1567, and died on Christmas Day, December 25, 1635. Was a French colonist, navigator, cartographer, draftsman, soldier, explorer, geographer, ethnologist, diplomat, and chronicler. Uh, so you can say he was a bit of a polymath. Um, he made between 21 and 29 trips across the Atlantic Ocean and founded Quebec or Quebec and New France on 3rd of July, 1608. An important figure in Canadian history, uh, Champlain created the first accurate coastal map during his explorations and founded various colonial settlements. Uh, born into a family of mariners, Champlain began um, exploring North America in 1603 under the guidance of his uncle, Francois uh, Grave Dupont. Um, after 1603, Champlain's life and career consolidated into the path he would follow for the rest of his life. Uh, from 1604 to 1607, he participated in an exploration and settlement of the first European settlement north of the Florida, Port Royal Acadia of 1605, as well as the first European settlement that would um, become St. John, New Brunswick, 1604. And in 1608, he established the French settlement that is now uh, Quebec City. Champlain was the first European to describe the Great Lakes and published maps of his journeys and accounts of what he learned from the natives and the French living among the natives. natives. He formed relations with the local uh, Montanagis and the Inu and later which uh, others farther west, uh, tribes of the Ottawa River, uh, Lake Nipsing and the Georgian Bay and with the Algonquin and Wendat uh, he also agreed to provide assistance in the Beaver Wars against the Iroquois. Late in the years uh, of 1615, Champlain returned to the Wendat and stayed with them over the winter, which permitted him to make the first ethnograph uh, sorry, ethnographic, ethnographic observations of this important nation, the events of which formed the bulk of his book Voyages at Descouvres, uh, Fates de en, en la Nouvelle. Uh, France de Buis uh, in 1615, published in 1619. On 1620, Louis XIII of France ordered Champlain to cease exploration, return to Quebec, and devote himself to the administration of the country. In every way but formal title, Samuel de Champlain served as governor of New France, a title that may have been uh, formally unavailable to him um, owing to his non noble status. He established trading companies that sent goods, primarily fur, to France and oversaw the growth of New France and the St. Lawrence River Valley until his death in 1635. Champlain is memorialized as the father of New France and father of Acadia, with many places, uh, streets, and structures in northeastern 
North America bearing his name and most notably Lake Champlain. Alright guys, so again, make sure that you're watching these video lectures because um, I do pull test questions from them um, and that you are reviewing the PowerPoints. Alright guys, have a great day. Bye.